Hello everyone, my name is Tara Mistful and welcome back to another Training Rambles video and I literally just filmed this video but I threw that footage away because I was just so awkward in that video and um, I got interrupted by some notifications on my computer and it was just kind of a mess so uh, yes I am redoing the video so hopefully I'm not going to be as awkward as last time. So I'm at Steve's farm today for some training. I'm going to start out here and so the first thing I wanted to mention before I got into the main topic which you probably already know what it is from the title but I wanted to address where um, Ghost F6 is and what's the go with that um, so I am still doing the series um, and episode 6 is coming I'm about halfway through the script for Ghost episode 6 I took a kind of a long break from working on the script just because I kind of had writer's block like, I know what I, where I want the series to go and I know where I want the episode to go. It's just that putting that into a script can sometimes be uh, a bit challenging. So, uh, yes, I did take a break from that, but I'm going, I promise, I will go ahead and work on that script right after I, well, not right after I finish this video, but on the same day that I'm doing this video, I'm going to work on Ghost Episode 6 so that hopefully I can get the episode out for you guys soon. Anyway, on to the main topic of today, kind of a bit of a story time, I guess. So, for those of you who don't know, I owned a club called Firebirds that I made, and it was really great and things. Um, but then I started getting really stressed out about the club. I started worrying about the number of members we had. I started worrying about how popular we were and kind of comparing my club to other clubs. And I started to feel really bad about the club, so I did end up disbanding Firebirds and I really regretted that so very shortly after I remade Firebirds and it was great and a lot of the old members joined back again uh, but then <laughs> the same thing happened again I started getting stressed and worried and comparing my club to other people's clubs and no please don't do this if you own a club please don't go comparing your club to other people's clubs because you're just going to make yourself feel horrible and you know you shouldn't be comparing your club to other clubs because every club is different and unique and awesome in their own way but uh, yeah I was just felt really worried and kind of pressured to make um, like no one was pressuring me I just like I was putting the pressure on myself to kind of get more members and you know make the club better and things and it was just making me feel really bad and I was, wasn't was enjoying my time that I was spending on Star Sable so I disbanded Firebirds again and I was actually kind of happy after that because I felt, you know, like I'd, make, I'd made a good decision, I felt like a weight had been lifted off of me and I went and checked out a few clubs and it was kind of fun just being able to browse clubs like, um, you know, I used to rather than owning one. But I didn't really find a club that suited me. I found, you know, tons of really great clubs, but none of them just really seemed to fit. And so once again, I was like, oh, I'm going to remake Firebirds. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I think my friends and the old Firebirds members <laughs> probably just like, oh my gosh, Tyra, re Tyra, really? You're going to remake Firebirds again, and then you're going to expand, and... Yeah, I, I don't blame you guys, but uh, I decided I was going to remake Firebirds and this time I was never disbanding and I was going to love the club for what it was, even if it had, you know, like two members or something, I was still going to love the club and so yes, I went to Steve, uh, not Steve's farm, I went to Silverglade to create a new club and I went to create Firebirds and the name was taken. And I was so sad. <laughs> and so I would hop on every day, several times a day, to see if the Firebirds name was available. And it wasn't um, every single time. I think it was like a week or something that I waited because sometimes when people first make a club, you know, it's quite common for first time club owners. And I know I did that back in the day. Is you make a club and then you disband because you're not really sure what to do. Uh, so I was kind of hoping that was the case so that I could, you know, get my precious Firebirds back. And it turns out that the owner was a friend of one of my friends. And she told me that the owner uh, was thinking about disbanding because she didn't really like the name anymore and things. Um, but she wasn't sure she was, still, she was thinking about it. And I was like, okay, you know, I really hope she does, but if she doesn't, then, you know, it's, it's her business and I'm gonna, not going to go, like, harassing her or anything, you know. Um, but 
But anyway, so I waited and waited and I would check all the time just to see if she had decided she was going to disband and, you know, make a club under a new name. Uh, and she didn't, she was still thinking about it and I decided, you know what, I was, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about the name Firebirds and how I had so many great memories in the Firebirds club, but if I had remade Firebirds then it just wouldn't have been the same. Um, um, and by remaking Firebirds I was kind of trying to relive old memories that wouldn't have been there again kind of thing, like it wouldn't have felt the same without all the original members that were there and um, some of the original members I haven't even seen online in ages so yeah so I made the decision that I wasn't going to remake Firebirds and I told my friend and she told her friend and I um, you know, wish the friend good luck with her Firebirds club and I, as far as I know she still has it so if you see a club on Firestar server um, called Firebirds, that is her club, not mine. <laughs> um, so anyway, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a new club and I settled on the name Firewolves, which I am super duper duper happy about. So just let me accept this. Here is the club Firewolves. If you like, you can read through the information. But yes, we have a uniform and um, we also have a website that I created. Uh, in the past, I haven't really bothered with websites, but I just thought it'd be a really fun way to kind of advertise the club and also just, just something really fun and creative to do. So here's the Firewolves website um, and where it says CM, that's actually meant to say COM, uh, but the filter won't let me. So uh, yes, our calendar is kind of similar to what I had with Firebirds where we just vote on an activity rather than having set activities. Um, here are all the rules and the club info and I have four members right now. And these are all uh, members from Firebirds, which are uh, from when I owned Firebirds. They're all old Firebirds members, so that's why they're all higher ranks because I kept their ranks. Um, but yes, so Firewolves is my new club and I'm really, really happy about it. I feel like it's just nice to have a fresh new start with a club and I still have my awesome friends from my other club in it, which is really great. You know, that's what I wanted. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this race. But yes, and I'll just show you the uniform quickly. So this here is the uniform and we don't have club tack because for activities we actually ride tackless. Yes, here is the new club uniform, which I'm very happy about. It's very simple, but I feel like it's unique. I haven't seen... Oops, I'm holding... I'm holding pants! <laughs> I haven't seen any other clubs with that uniform, so I'm quite happy with it. And, uh, yes, I'm very happy with my decision, so I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, yes, I'm no longer the owner of Firebirds, and I'm now the owner of Firewolves, and I'm really, really happy about it. And if you want to join Firewolves, then we are on the Firestar server. And you can just mail me at Tyrone School. So I hope I wasn't too awkward in this video um, like I was in the last time I tried to record this. I feel like this is a little bit better. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!